Hey, I featured these ingredients in past videos on controlling rodents. Stay tuned. There's more they control. Hey, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I'm a night greenhouse with Mr. Sam Squatch here. And I, I, I featured this cornbread mixture and baking soda in mixed together in equal parts in a uh, container. This is simply a just a regular used container. I cut about a two inch hole in the side. We're going to make a, a mixture and I'm going to put it in my garden. The reason why I'm putting it in a covered dish is because the sprinkler will go out, you know, go off out there and it, it'll get the po potion wet. So I don't want it wet, I just want it dry and I keep it covered in the garden for that purpose. You can do an open dish if you're doing insides, but let me show you. I'm just doing four tablespoons of baking soda and four tablespoons of the Jiffy cornbread mix. Now the cornbread mix does not kill. It's just an attractant and that's what you want something to attract. Corn meal will work, flour will work. Uh, there's a lot of different ingredients that will attract rats and mice and I found that they love corn they love sweet and this is a super attractant so this one really works so I'm just gonna take four tablespoons of the baking soda and the baking soda is what kills them this is what attracts them so we're gonna put four tablespoons of this we're gonna mix it up and put it in the garden do not put water or anything else out with this mixture. What happens is the baking soda mixes with the stomach acids in the rodent. So we got four tablespoons. And then you just mix it up, get it all mixed up. Now, like I said, the baking soda will mix with the stomach acids in the creature. Now for uh, simulation purposes only, I'm going to add a little bit of vinegar to this jar and the, the vinegar is a simulation of the stomach acids in the rodent. That's all this is. Don't put any fluids out for the, this is not part of the ingredients for the poison. Just these two, that's all you want, but I want to show you what baking soda does just a little bitty tiny bit of baking soda and that's what it does bubbles up and causes them to burst asunder and since rodents in general don't burp or fart uh, it's mixed up it uh, it bubbles and it causes their innards to burst and yeah it's a painful way to die but it's a necessary evil to get rid of and control rodents. This works on rats, it kills mice, it kills chipmunks, it kills moles and voles and squirrels. Those are what I do know it works on and kills and it's been killing around my homestead except we don't have chipmunks here. I've been getting uh, comments from other uh, viewers who testify that yeah, it's killing chipmunks. Also, it attracts roaches and ants, and it'll kill the roaches and ants. It's the baking soda that's killing them. So let's go put this in the garden. And I'll place it right down here and face the opening away from my sprinkler. 
and then the rodents will be attracted to it and eat that and die. Other rodent control we have on the farm is Nebby, our cat. And two weeks ago, we just adopted two more kitties, a little brother, sister. Uh, they are been, they've been fixed and neutered. So we have three cats on the homestead again. And the garden is the problem area where I'm having right now with rodents. So we put the major in my, uh, that stuff out there and hopefully it'll get them under bay and the cat's on patrol. So we're going to have some success. <clears throat> also control vermin from getting in and around your house. You know, ants, roaches, uh, ro rodents, kill them. They're ghastly, they're beastly, they'll chew your wiring, they'll ca perhaps cause a fire and burn your house down. Uh, they also spread diseases, so if you're sympathetic to them, you guys live with them. I'm 86ing them. I might also add that this small portion that you're mixing, putting in your garden or laying around the house, will not harm your dog, will not harm your cat because it's not poison. And that small amount of baking soda will not affect them one bit. And what's better is if my livestock gets into it, the livestock I have won't be harmed by it either because it's such small portions. And what's even great is that uh, like the bird of prey and the fox, say an owl or fox, if they should ingest the rodent, it's not going to kill them. Currently, people are feeding poisons to rodents. The rodents die. A fox and an owl, they'll eat the rat or the poison rodent, and they eventually will die. This is safe for wildlife, livestock, and pets. So, uh, any kind of attractant and baking soda. Yeah. So, good luck with your battle. Stay tuned for a update on my preventative measures I took to keep the rodents from chewing wiring and hoses in my tractor engine compartment and all my vehicles. We're going to see how successful that was. So stay tuned for that show. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. We're a frugal homestead tucked high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. My home sits up in the mountains, we're in the wilderness, and we are geographically located west-southwest of Crater Lake National Park, a beautiful park. Please subscribe, click that bell icon that alerts you to the new videos and episodes that I create and upload, and also give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment, like the show, be safe, always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye-bye now.